I mean, our calls have been going through the roof. Daniel Marchand with the Phoenix Herpetological Society reports more than 20 calls in the last several days. We obviously have people that are home, so there's more opportunities for people to run into these things. Take a look at this baby rattlesnake all curled up between the front door and screen door of this home. Oh yeah, this is our most common type, just a little western diamondback. And this is a really common spot to find them, so says Joe Himes, out answering calls and clearing yards. Checking the gaps in block walls, the space around AC units, and inside pool filters. Showing us all the typical hot spots for snakes to hide. They think it's nice and comfortable until they surprise us and we surprise them. This snake gets relocated to the desert where it belongs. No surprise, hikers are starting to see snakes too. Came around a blind corner and he was sitting there watching me go by and made a little noise and scared me pretty good. They'll rattle and hiss and kind of come up at you and uh, kind of give you some kind of warning. Just kind of back off and... Give it uh, some space and it clear it away. And that's the best advice. First thing we want you to do is to take one large step away from the snake. Second, the experts say, keep your eyes and ears open. When you're on the hiking trails, we don't recommend you're wearing, you know, um, you know, headsets or anything where you're listening to music. If you can't hear that snake rattling at you and letting you know he's close by, again, you could get yourself in real big trouble. That rattle, the warning you need to keep your distance. Yeah, don't mess with them. And, and, you know, the thing about pool filters, uh, I learned that last year. I went into mine, uh, didn't find a snake, but I found a black widow. And I'm like, I never go into that thing now without a screwdriver and gloves because it's like, uh, I don't want to have anything to do with things that bite near the pool, right?